My name is Teddy Schulman, and I teach at PAC. I've been teaching, I guess, since the 80s, and I love teaching. Okay, in the new programs, I find the, the learning situations are great, but my students need a lot of prep before they get to be able to do that kind of stuff. Like, for example, in the secondary two now, we're doing size transformations. I have students that have difficulty just measuring a line, you know, so... The old Secondary 2 program, we were working with that. We were working with basic, just drawing basic shapes. It was done at a much more elementary level. I find that now there's a tremendous amount of stuff that I have to prepare them for so that they can even conceptualize what the learning situation is about. I was really apprehensive at the beginning, but after getting into it, I'm realizing that it's not all that much different. We used to teach all the basic concepts and then we didn't call them learning situations, we called them word problems. It's just flipped now. Instead of doing the word problems, the situational things at the end, we're doing them at the beginning and saying, here it is, don't panic, you know, because we're going to do a lot of groundwork, so we're going to be able to go back and do that. My job hasn't really changed. Perhaps I should be using more technology. I'm not comfortable with the learning situation, so I think they probably could hear that and that's how I present it I mean I say by the time we finish we're going to be able to figure out this kind of situation I think I presented like that because as a student I would hate to be given something that I had no idea it's just too open but to work it backwards to start and expect them to just know this stuff or just be able to conceptualize this stuff I am uncomfortable with that so to make myself feel more comfortable that's how I present this stuff this is what we're going to be doing and yeah believe it or not We're going to be able to figure that out. And then I say, okay, now we're going to go through all the little steps to be able to do it. And then at the end, I go back to that and say, see, I told you, we could do this. And some of them get it and some of them don't. And some of them have to keep trying it again. And that's how I deal with it. Even if you have a totally homogeneous group, there's going to be students at all different levels. And I get them used to the fact that those that can do it right away are going to get the least attention. I'm going to be with the ones that are struggling the most and it's always done in group work like that. I give them the option they can do it on their own or they could do it in a group so just to get them to feel comfortable. It's just different. It's change and nobody likes change. Uh, Just embrace it and go with it and you'll see it's going to work.